People saw financials and supply chain management fluid approvals are being converted from using PeopleTools map technology to enterprise components fluid approvals. In update image 20, the products shown here are replacing the fluid approvals currently using map technology with new enterprise components fluid approvals. In addition to replacing the current functionality delivered in the original fluid mobile approvals, some of the new fluid approvals have additional enhancements for customers to utilize. These approvals are designed for use on any device. Access all approvals with the approvals tile on your FSCM homepage. All pending approvals are shown. You can review each line level detail for every approval. The Line Level Detail page gives specific details regarding the approval. In this example, you can see the expense type, description, billing action, and so forth. In e-procurement requisitions, purchasing, purchase orders, and expenses, expense reports, you can now approve at the line level. Line level approvals make it possible for action to be taken on different line items without waiting for the approval of other items. You can select each line you want to approve and then click the Approve button. In addition, for e-procurement requisitions, purchasing, purchase orders, expenses, expense reports, and general ledger journal entries, you can also view header details and comments from the Pending Approvals page. You can review the summary of the transaction. When you're ready to approve, you can add comments regarding the approval and then click Submit. For most approval transactions, you can also view the approval chain for each pending approval. On a smartphone, you'll need to scroll down to see the approval chain. The approval chain section displays the status of the approval chain for the transaction. You can expand and collapse subsections displayed. In receivables, payment write-offs, e-procurement, requisitions, and purchasing, purchase orders, you can use the Attachments page to view supporting or related documentation for the transaction. You can access the Attachments page from the Approval Header Detail page. Scroll down to the Attachments section to review each attachment on your mobile device. In the future, all approvals will be replaced with Fluid approvals. This concludes our demonstration of the Fluid Approvals feature. The Fluid Forms and Approval Builder enables you to design online forms, specify the approval process they require, and deploy them to users within your organization. You'll need to have the Form Designer role to view the design forms on the Employee Self-Service homepage. PeopleSoft has expanded the PeopleSoft Classic Forms and Approval Builder, enabling users to create forms within financial and supply chain applications using the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface. Forms designed in the Fluid Forms and Approval Builder are not accessible in the Classic version and vice versa. Click the Add or Edit button on the Design Forms page to create a form or edit an existing form. Use the My Forms page to view the forms created. Click the Fill out a new form button to select and fill out a form. Only Fluid Forms are supported in the Fluid Approval process. This completes the Fluid Forms and Approval Builder feature demonstration. The eProcurement Multi-Item Image Capability feature enables you to view multiple images. Select the Multi-Image checkbox on the eProcurement Installation Options page to enable the multi-image functionality. On selecting this checkbox, you can set and view item images from different angles. You can also define multi-images at the purchasing and supplier levels. Once you've selected the multi-image checkbox on the e-procurement installation options page, the multi-image link appears on the purchasing attributes page. The multi-images defined on the multi-image setup page will share the same file extension that you've already defined. Clicking the multi-image link takes you to the multi-image setup page where you can specify details for the multidimensional item images. Item details along with multiple images of the item will be displayed on the item details page. For better performance, we recommend that you create separate folders for the image files based on set ID, item catalog, and item category. 
The recommended image size for large images is 500 by 500 or 120K, for medium images 200 by 200 or 25K, and for small images 40 by 40 or 2K. Clicking on the image zooms in for a closer view. This concludes our demonstration of the multi-item image capability feature. The chart field modifications for ePro Mobile Approvals feature uses chart field display templates to extend chart field configuration to control the display of individual chart fields on PeopleSoft Fluid components. Chart fields can now be displayed in a consistent manner on PeopleSoft Fluid transaction pages across PeopleSoft products. For e-procurement, mobile requisitions, and fluid approvals, the default chart field display template ALLCFS is used for all users, a permission list, or user ID. Use the Assign CF Display Templates page to assign templates to the mobile requisitions component. Use the Assign by Key Field Values page to assign the template to the fluid approval process. Click the Accounting button on the Requisition Line Override page to view or edit the accounting information for this requisition line. The accounting information is displayed using the fields from the assigned accounting template. You can update the accounting fields and click the Continue button after editing to save the changes. Distribution rows can be added or deleted as needed. This completes our demonstration of the chart field modifications for ePro Mobile Approvals feature. The expanded General Ledger Spreadsheet Upload feature includes an updated look that includes the following two new sub-features. The ability to have the system run the edit journals process after the import process, and the ability to have the system send a message to approvers after the edit process. Both of these sub-features are optional, but you must run the edit journals process if you want to send a message to approvers. This completes our demonstration of the Expanded General Ledger Spreadsheet Upload feature. The Configurable Supplier Registration Links feature enables you to present your prospective suppliers with registration links in your own manner. Your administrators can control how the page is displayed by adding and modifying registration links images, labels, and their descriptions on the Content Management Registration page. Use the Define Links section and Image buttons to set your own label and images for the registration links. Use the Summary and Detail areas to create the summary and description you want your potential suppliers to read on the supplier homepage. This completes our demonstration of the Configurable Supplier Registration Links feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, release notes on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.